We are now just five days away from one of the most spectacular cosmic events we the people of Earth can bear witness to <laughs> a total solar eclipse. Yes, us mere humans. Earthlings. <laughs> Earthlings. <Mere> Earthlings. <laughs> exactly. The phenomenon happens when the moon completely blocks the face of the sun, darkening the skies beneath its path. So for New Yorkers planning to step outside to catch a glimpse of the eclipse on Monday, which I mean, it's Monday afternoon, 3 right. p.m. is going to look more like 7.30 p.m. Right, right. You know, a lot of people are watching right now. They want to know all the important details about how to prepare for this big event. And we have some good news and we have some bad news. The bad news, let's start with that, is none of us work for NASA. Well, we do know yeah. someone who does. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not a rocket scientist, well, no. but I know You just some. took the words. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. NASA Partnerships Manager Anita Day is with us. Hi, Anita. Nice to see you. I'm so glad you're with us. Joining us live from Goddard Space Center in Maryland, just outside of Washington, D.C. Anita, let me start this. First of all, welcome, as we said. Um, it, it, we talk so much about totality and getting there and traveling there and all the amazing things to do. But for most of our area, we're going to be, I think, at like 80-ish percent-ish here. It, should I feel like it's not a thing for me? Should I feel like I'm missing out? No, no, not at all. And thank you for having me to be able to talk about this. So I'm going to be at home in Maryland, and we're going to be at about 86%. Um, and I'm still really looking forward to it. When do you get to see the sun look like cookie monsters taking a bite out of it? <laughs> That's going to be amazing. That's so and I'm, I'm really looking forward to sharing this experience with my family. I have two young children and my husband and you know parents. So it's, it's just important to, to enjoy the event as a moment for togetherness and to think about how we're connected to the larger universe. Mm, yeah. mm. And, but of course, to do it safe, safely as well, especially when you yes. have younger children, so you know they're gonna run outside and just wanna look oh, up. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. Just give us some quick things that we should know, parents out there, especially when you have younger children, what you should do. So it's really important to have eclipse glasses. Um, I, you know, NASA has been giving out glasses and you can get them at libraries and museums, reputable sources. And you can make sure that you're watching the eclipse with those glasses on. For those of us in partiality, you have to keep the glasses on the whole time. Mm. For people who are going to be in the path of totality, they'll have a few minutes to take off the glasses when the moon is completely covering the sun. Mm. But we don't get that. Um, so for my kids, my six-year-old, I'm going to make sure that she understands she can't look up without the glasses. And she'll get that. My three-year-old, I'll have to be more vigilant. Yeah. He may not get it. Um, we'll, we'll keep an eye on him. But it's also really great for kids to be able to watch the eclipse through projections on the ground. Mm -hmm. We call them indirect viewing methods. Oh. So if you have a piece of cardboard, you could just put a pin, on, a pin prick in it. And that, if you hold it with your sun, uh, the sun to the, your back, it'll project the eclipse on the ground in front of you. Just like that. If That's you, awesome. Oh. Yeah. yeah. If you have a colander, all of those holes will project the eclipse on the ground. Oh. Or you can look for the trees. You know, you'll have um, eclipses littering the ground. I, that's how I experienced yeah. it in 2017. That is a so great I'm idea. So I'm doing all those things with my kids, yeah. Oh, I love that. I feel like we're in the trenches together. I have a seven, four, and two-year-old. Um, <laughs> so the two-year-old, yes, girl. Oof, they're going to be hard. Um, but what, I mean, this, you guys are NASA, right? This is a grand celestial event, one we won't see again for yeah. what, more than 20 years from now? I think. Something yep. like that, right? So. What are you guys doing to kind of engage the public to, you know, make this something that everybody can be a part of? We are so excited that this is such an opportunity to engage everybody in science. Science is for everybody. So we have 14 uh, public engagement locations across the path of totality. Oh. Uh, we're calling them sunspots. Um, there are going to be a wide variety of activities and scientists speaking at these sunspots. We're going to be at Niagara Falls as well, one of these sunspots. If you don't want to come in person, you should definitely watch our live broadcast. It'll be from 1 to 4 p.m. Eastern Time. You can find us on NASA.gov or um, our ad, the NASA Plus app. Uh, it's going to be a great program, again, with scientists, a lot of learning, and some fun uh, guest speakers, too. So we're doing a lot to engage the public. And if you just want to learn more about uh, what we're doing and the materials that we have available, you can go to our website. You can go to go.nasa.gov. 
Perfect. slash Eclipse 2024. Thank you so much uh, for this. We really do appreciate it. And by the way, Shirley, for you. Oh, wow. You scored some glasses. Rita. We got our glasses. Right. We're, we're going to be safe. Okay. We're going to be safe here. Okay. You oh, cannot see, see anything. anything. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, that's how you know they're good. That's I mean, how you know Thank real. you so much for NASA. Let's talk about where we can watch. Okay. Because that's important. We're going to be taking these glasses to go see them. Um, a lot of you, just so you know, it's free. A lot of these events, like at uh, the Brooklyn Botan uh, Botanic Garden, mm -hmm. also Greenwoods Meadow. A lot of our area museums are also holding events, watch events, like the Intrepid, where you can see the eclipse from the ship's deck. Think about how cool that is. You can also check out New York State Parks. We're gathering a full list and posting locations on ABC 7 NY. Or if you're like me and a full refrigerator dictates where you go, ABC <laughs> News and Nat Geo are teaming up for a two hour special called Eclipse Across America. Our own David Muir will be anchoring the special coverage with reporters across the nation. So you don't need to do anything but bring a giant slushie and a big thing of popcorn and it starts at 2 p.m. next month. Monday. Our very own Brittany Bell will be in Niagara Falls. Chief Meteorologist Lee Goldberg will be in Syracuse. So you won't miss a minute of it all over the place and you don't have to travel. You don't have to drive. You don't get into traffic. None of that. Speaking We've of, got uh, you covered.